Hello there. How's it going, folks? It's been a while. Hello, welcome. Welcome. Yeah, so I think as of this month, like either this week or the last one or the next one, I we have been doing Wad Wednesdays for three years now. I think it was, it was the first or second week of May in 2017. So yeah, thanks for sticking with, thanks for sticking with us for this long. And uh, yeah. Hmm. Can you all hear me okay? My uh, AV situation around here has uh, changed a bit. <clears throat> Should be good. Also, yeah, I am going to be quiet. Just crank that up a little. Um, I'm just going to like access the hard drive that I've got the levels on in the hopes that that will uh, prevent the first run crash that happens with this front end sometime. Thank you for being part of this experiment. Cool. All right. Well, yeah. Welcome, everybody. It's Wad Wednesday. And let's pick some random Doom levels and play them. Oh, cool, yeah, Arjuna with, uh, with uh, about the, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, the map set, the third anniversary map set, that's something, yeah, if folks are into it, then I'm always very grateful and surprised at, uh, at your awesome talent, but if not, don't worry about it, you know, like, time merches on, and this is pretty extraordinary circumstances so you know I definitely people are busy with all kinds of stuff myself included so cool um, all right so yeah where has our random pick uh, landed us on Arct Arctica 4 cyber demon by Mike Watson um, oh cyber demon parentheses Mike Watson um, that name definitely sounds familiar um, there's some other files by author maybe not but anyway, yeah, this is from April of 1999. And, uh, yeah, a system of labs and experiments that someone, the people of Arctica, I'd assume, have done with a few monsters. Uh, okay, this is Doom 2 Map 1. All right, sounds like a standard there are monsters, it's a Doom level sort of thing. Some shout-outs to some notable late 90s Doom figures here. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, let's play it. Let's play Artica by Cyberdemon. Damn it. All right. Let me see if it copied the, uh... Okay, it did indeed copy the thing, so, god, yeah, I really want to fix that one of these days, but... Okay. <clears throat> Artica. My mouse is laggy here. Is it? This 
smooth mouse movement. Okay, that feels a little more normal. Cool, all right. All right. Hello, yeah, welcome for folks who are still coming in. Is that where I came from? It is. All right, goodies. Oh yeah, and look, there's like some snow out because it's because it's an Arctic setting. All right, some big bad monsters here. Oh jeez. Hmm. All right, y'all go ahead and fight it out. Cool. Who's gonna win? So that's actually a pretty interesting elevator setup here. I don't know what's up with the like, oh yeah, okay. It's like a whole little set of sectors here moving. Wild. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up, Mr. Skeleton? I don't recognize the music myself. Oh, that might be, my partner's watching a movie. That might be coming through over the microphone. That might be what y'all are hearing. All right, this room is just chock full of knights. Yeah, this is called Clean Room. I don't know what's up with that. Cool, now I am out of... Uh... Yeah, it's a good little, it's a good little light, lighting effect there. No. All right, we got a cool little bridge and a cyber demon down in there in a non-illusio pit. Oh geez, what just happened? Something just teleported me. Oh, cool, yeah, that's what I wanted. All right, I am almost dead and out of ammo. This is not a good situation. Hey, there we go. What? Tiny, tiny demons, tiny pinkies. So cute. Oh no, I was slain. Like a tiny pinky. <laughs> Just <laughs> adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and they're uh, foreshadowing the tiny pinkies. Oh, good job, Kako. You bagged that mancubus. All right. All right, so this time, this time I know that what I really want to do with this room is I want to do this. Yeah, I want to get them to like just infight. I want to get them to do hella infighting with the cyber demon. And just leave them to that because I don't need to come back. All right. All right, what's up? What's up, pinky? Tiny pinkies? Oh, geez. No. Oh my gosh. They're so fast. Oh no. 
fast, tiny pinkies. Alright, a few of these knights do not want to infight with the cyber demon. I'm just gonna leave them I'm just gonna leave them alone. Alright. Alright, so I think that angered the tiny pinkies. Let's try this again. Yeah, they look like it's basically just like a sprite swap of scaled down pinkies. It's adorable though. Looks like a fresh batch of cacos has popped up here. Dying. I'm actually kind of rusty here. I haven't played a whole lot of Doom lately. Oh my gosh. They're so fast. Fast demons, I can now only hear Decino saying, Fast monsters enabled. Uh, yeah, good call. My partner is watching Dirty Dancing with some friends over the internet. Ow. Oh, I'm dying. What have I been playing lately? Uh, not a whole lot. I haven't been playing a whole lot. Um, I played some, uh, some Nautica Below Zero. Um, it's looking good. You know, it's still... I think they've still got a, a fair amount of work to do on that game, but it was cool. I was craving more Subnautica and scratch the itch. Seems like it's on on track to be good. Um, and yeah, I played uh, the new Thimbleweed Park like spinoff game that Ron released over the weekend. Um, just kind of mainlined all those adventure game puzzles. And, uh, yeah, I've played some No Man's Sky off and on. It's kind of my... It's kind of a fallback game for me sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Okay, alright. Looks like that, uh... Looks like that Cyber Demon polished off all those... All those Hell Knights. Yes, there is a new Thimbleweed Park spinoff. It's definitely, like, way smaller than Thimbleweed Park, but uh, it's cool. It's cool. It's called Dolores. It's free. It's totally free on Steam. Uh, I think the idea was uh, Ron is in quarantine like everybody else and uh, rewrote his adventure game, like, basically built a new adventure game engine, and he implemented a Thimbleweed Park, you know, smaller scale game to uh, to test to put it through its paces, which is really cool. Um, yeah, it's cool. It has a very different, you know, like Thimbleweed had the uh, the classic like LucasArts style, you know, Monkey Island Two era verbs, whereas this is just sort of a hybrid of like a few different point and click uh, no verb things, um, and uh, it's cool. It worked, I found it worked quite well for, uh, for what it was doing. Um, okay, like, where do I get these other keys? Uh, yeah, and, yeah, definitely no shame in, uh, in liking Hexen. It's, it, it's cool. It's cool. The, the level design, you know, switch hunt sort of stuff isn't necessarily my cup of tea, but it's 
undeniably just got an awesome style and and yeah, some of the level design is really cool. Also, it's just righteous. Okay, how... I'm guessing that these Hell Knights did not manage to do much damage to this fool. It doesn't seem to be able to attack me. I just really don't want to be shot by this cyber demon later. Or two seconds from now, even. Oh my god, no! Unfair! Are you just not shooting? Is this like a deactivated cyber demon? Okay, all right, non-berserk fist cyber demon kill. Haven't made too many of those before. Also, I am just completely, just no ammo left whatsoever. I wasted all of my ammo taking that goofus down. I kind of don't want to save right now, though, because I'm, like, not in a good position. Yeah, what is the deal with this map? All right, maybe I got to run down here. Okay, wow, you just spontaneously jib if you... Yeah. If you walk into that water. Yeah, and, like, I hit this switch. So, like, something should open up, right? deal with this. Huh. Well, yeah, like, where am I supposed to go here? I don't, I don't get it. What's up, buddy? Yeah, it really does look like this cyber demon just cannot see us. Very strange. Um, yeah, this is just a switch that teleports you silently, which is strange and interesting. Yeah, like, where do I go now? I guess I could go back to the very to the place where I started. I don't get it. Hmm, okay, nothing back here. Well, I am stumped, so I'm gonna use the old map cheat. And yeah, there's a ton of stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Is there just like a whole thing here that I just haven't been into yet? How did I miss that? I guess maybe because that room is just totally symmetrical. Whoa! Tiny specter. Alright, so this is teleporter A, and now I'm in teleporter B. Am I in a weird parallel realm? No. Whoa, whoa, all right. Some underwater action here. Uh, look at this. Oh my gosh, what are they? They're like giant piranhas. I was not expecting such a, such a custom monster situation. Oh my gosh. All right, so they're lungers. Lunge fish. 
Uh, okay, that's a rocket launcher. That's that's handy. Wild. Yeah, they are like half-life ichthyosaurs. Uh, I really, what I really need is health, though. There it is. Yeah, this map is throwing all kinds of curveballs out. Um, I mean, this is from 1999, right? So it's definitely flaunting some some non-standard port features. <coughs> all right, let's go down off this side. Let's see what. Oh gosh. Tiny pinkies. They're definitely kind of kind of menacing in their way. All right, like how do I Oh wait, I can I can swim up? No. Yes. What is Swim up and swim down. Our page up and insert. Uh, great. Am I going to start dying from the... Yeah. Um, oh, look at that. I can just go around the back. Cool. Okay. We now have a red key. That's cool. And, yeah, I guess, like... Alright, that opens up. Ah, uh, sure, let's save. Let's save the video game. All right, maybe now there's like something new back up in here. What could it be? Whoa, wait a minute. It's a little Half-Life Lambda there. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, yeah, like, where do I go now? Of, of doing this exactly. All right, this is non harmful water. Okay, so like, where's the yellow key then? That's what I want to know. Has something opened up in another part of the map? Oh. Okay. It's 1999 humor here. We've got the guy who was president at the time. All right. The topical. Yeah. Yep. Making a big, laying in a big bet that that joke would be relevant uh, for posterity. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Uh, that way is still death, I assume. Yeah, like just where. I don't know. I'm. This map, this map's weakness uh, for me so far has just been that like it doesn't. You know, there's only one place to go, and then if you've exhausted that direction, you're kind of screwed. Or, like, you're just doing what I'm doing right now. Um, I don't think I saw the yellow key. Yeah, I don't think there was a, a key or anything here, just... Yeah, hmm. Um... Uh, 
Where do I go? I have no idea where I go. I've kind of been... Alright, I'm going to use the, the map sheet once again. There are a bunch of weird boxes off floating. Some things that look like they could be teleportery. Teleport ambush related. Um, and then yeah, just a whole other some whole other wings here. All right, I'm gonna see if yeah, like should I just be able to get up here? Yeah, these switches are just hit once and forget. Yeah, so like, what's going on? Yeah, it does seem like there could be secrets just hanging out all over. But I also just don't see any obvious place. Yeah, like I don't see any secret rooms that adjoin physically spaces I can access. So like, what's up with that? I mean... <clears throat> this is a bummer, because, like, yeah, it was... Alright, yeah, that still kills you. <clears throat> Alright. I'm gonna ch go another level of cheatiness here and just see if I can... Looks like there's a voodoo doll over there. Yeah, like, where is the yellow key? Where is it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, okay. It's off in that, it's in that blue room. It's in the dang blue room. Yep, yellow key, just totally not visible from here, so, okay. All right, I think we're back on track now. Ugh. And I don't know if... Uh... Oh, great. Yeah, now my health is so low. All right, I am going to... I'm going to cheat a little to get through this, because... Uh... All right, I'm just going to give myself medikits. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Like, I don't know if this water looked different back when this author created this. Maybe, you know? Like... Ooh. All right. <clears throat> nope. Other way. Wrong way. There we go. Now it feels like we are on the way. What are these? What? Oh my gosh! They're little, they're little tiny demons. Oh my gosh! Good, very good. They're like little demon eggs. They're like frog beast eggs from uh, Thief, from Thief the Dark Project. All right, I can't, I cannot wait to use these little demons. This is also really getting one's money's worth out of. Uh, out of Z-Doom features, for sure. Like, that is the kind of silly stuff that you can definitely get up to with Decorate. I forget if Decorate existed at the time. Like, it's possible that it's just, I don't know, doing something weird with dehack-style things, but, uh, yeah, that's super good. Alright, well, I'm gonna save up my demons here for, uh, for a special occasion. Yeah. All right, yeah, we still got some monsters left in this map, so. All right, buddies. Guess what it's time for. Oh, jeez. All right. Yeah, what do y'all think? 
All right, one skeleton is getting into the spirit of it and trying to punch that. Oh no! I feel really invested in the survival of, of my tiny demons. That's really good though. I am very glad that this author bothered to make such a such a weird thing. Oh no, I died. Yeah. Oh wait, there's a Ugh. Alright, let's grab the megasphere. Not a great area for avoiding for avoiding revenants. Secret tiny demon research facility. Yeah, this one little this little tiny demon just really wants to go. Okay, where now where are you gonna go? You just wandering? That's cool. We're friends. Okay. Yeah, I am sorry that its comrade was slain, but it was in the service of a, of a good cause. And unfortunately, it can't come with me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this, just like... Just a little squad of, of tough monsters in a small room. All right. Oh, jeez. Fast monsters enabled. Alright. Cool. More eggs. Good. It's very good. Oh. Hey, buddy. Can always use more of these. Alright, so now I have the gold skull key. Get that. Oh, hey. Well, since I've got some of these, why don't you say hi to my... There we go. Good job, little buddy. Little buddy! Alright, so now I have the red skull key. Oh man, Archvile retaliated against that demon, against my tiny demon. That's sad. But I do have a few more. Alright. Look at all these nerds. Say hello to my little friend. It's one of the more appropriate usages of that line in a video game context. Uh. Uh, yeah, Snarks, right. Yeah, given that there's already, like, a Half-Life reference in this map, I was there. They seem to me, you know, like a nod to Snarks. Uh, but yeah, they don't they don't turn on you after they've killed their target the way that Snarks do. So they are, they are just solid gold buddies. And I really appreciate that. Well, this map sure, had, sure as heck had some surprises, huh? And yeah, now we're back in Underhalls. Do I still have any... Uh... Does it replace the... Uh... Okay, yeah, Demon Egg. Heck yeah, Demon Egg. Very cool. All right, well, yeah, that was good. That was good. That level... The level had uh, some direction stumbles, but... Um... But yeah, I dig it. That was good. I really enjoyed... I really enjoyed the Tiny Demons. Okay, well, cool. That was uh, that was Art Artica, Artica Four, by Cyberdemon, uh, and yeah, like pretty pretty respectable use of weird features from 1999. All right, cool. How about another one? CQB Black Shadow Software. Okay, Black Shadow Software. It's the author. CQB. Uh, oh, it's this is for Edge Engine. I might not be able to play this. 
you'll need edge 1.34. Now I'm kind of wondering if like, I don't know what the compatibility situation with this is, but I guess we might know pretty soon. I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to just load this up regardless. It's Doom 2 maps 1 through 5, CQB by Black Shadow Software. Um, I don't know, let's give it a shot. Uh, crashed. Um, okay, well, and I don't know if that was, like, I don't, th I think the, the front end crash generally only happens, like, once, but, I don't know, let's try, let's try another thing. Oh, yes, okay, yeah, I'm familiar with this, actually. Z Portal, Z Doom Portal Gun by Cutman Mike. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is wild. Uh, yeah, an extension of the Z Doom Portal Gun wad. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and yeah, it's quite a thing. It's, uh, let me, only compatible with Z-Doom, GZ-Doom as it uses 3D floors, etc. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, this is, this is definitely a good one. This was made, like, pretty, you know, I don't know, eight or nine months after, uh, the game Portal came out. And yeah, it does just like a portal gun in Doom. Uh, it obviously doesn't do like the fancy rendering, like live rendering type thing. I don't think, but it, it, it gets pretty close. Um, all right, I'm gonna try to load this. Oh my God, is, is it just always, is the, is the front end just always crashing now? All right, I'm gonna run it from the command line here and just see what, what the freaking deal with launching stuff here is. All right, Demonic Deviation, Matthew Cannonball Powell, uh, from 2018, very recent. Um, all right, maps one through 11, single set of 11 maps with a general tech-based theme, challenging but nothing most couldn't handle by today's standards. All right, yeah, there's just a whole little story and stuff in the readme. Nice. All right. Yeah. Let's play Demonic Deviation by Matthew Cannonball Powell. And it works this time, of course. Ooh, nice. Got some Final Doom music playing on the custom title screen. That is the Day of the Tentacle font right there. I would recognize that anywhere. Yeah, Portal, um, the orange box came out in... Yeah, in October of uh, uh, of 2007. So yeah, yep. Um, let's see, what was this called again? All right, cool. Yeah, this looks like some good vanilla action here. Yeah, I'm remembering just how much of a weird, like, Portal is one of those games that felt like it broke rules that weren't actually hard and fast rules, but, you know, it just sort of, like, I don't know, 2007 was sort of the tail end of this period where, you know, everything was very, was still very dominated by, like, the mainstream, like, what's the big game that's coming out? And Portal was just kind of tagging along on Half-Life 2, Episode 2. Um, but then it ended up being kind of like, for a lot of people, the most memorable part of, of the orange box. Um, and, um, you know, I mean, in some ways it was, you know, it was sort of benefiting from a game size and focus that would quickly become popularized with, you know, the, the sort of early indie wave of 2008, 2009, 2010. Um, even though it was made by this, you know, AAA team with a lot of resources. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's an interesting one. Oh, geez.
Cool. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, this map set seems pretty cool so far. These spaces are, like, large and kind of, you know, interconnected. Just classic Doom level design type stuff. Um, let's see, I don't have any keys yet. Where am I supposed to go here? All right, I see the red key up there. How do I get up there? I'll bet if I just kind of go the way the crow flies. Or not the way the crow flies, but oh, but I need a blue key. To, to get there. All right, so I need a blue key to get the red key, probably. Yeah, like that red key is right there. All right, so what were my other options here? Go off this way, and there's the blue key. All right, so how do I get up there? Okay, so I go up here. Yeah, there we go, okay. Oh, a little secret. Ooh, this feels cool. Just like a little back way. Okay, yeah, and then the backpack, and then this. Yeah, nice. So yeah, this is something I would point to as, like, good direction, you know, because while it's not just handing, you know, for it's this nonlinear space, and it's not handing me things on a platter, but it is saying, like, okay, here's this thing, and just, like, trace a path through here to, and you'll end up, you know, and if you have a decent ability to, to, to follow a path, even if it dips into some walls and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's cool. All right, and now we can go through the red door. I'm a little bummed, I gotta say, to see non-tiny pinkies. They're still appreciated, but those tiny pinkies were something. Yeah, the uh, the ammo budget, the ammo and resource budgeting. Isn't too isn't too harsh. I'm not flush, but I'm not like starving to death either. Good little outdoor area. Yeah, and like you know, this is a level. You know, you can definitely tell that this level had some some planning behind it. You know, it feels like. Feels like an experienced level designer, just warming up on this map one. Cool, yeah, all right. Sweet intermission screen. Oh yeah, good point. Uh, Portal was kind of the first triple I indie type game. Yeah, no, it, it really was, yeah, even though it was, it's weird to, sit, to say that about a, a game coming out of Valve, but it absolutely was that. Basically, like, indies who had a budget making something with an existing engine, you know, etc. Although even there, they definitely had, like, you know, they definitely had tech help to get, like, portal rendering to, to look good and behave correctly and all that kind of stuff. So they had, like, they had the benef they had a lot of benefits that even the best-funded indies probably, probably did not. You know, I think comparable games just weren't nearly as ambitious technically or mechanically. Um, whereas, yeah, Portal was... Portal, I would say, was ambitious uh, in terms of, you know, game, fully committing to a game mechanic and uh, just doing something that technically wasn't super easy for, uh, you know, for 2007 consoles and etc. And honestly, where a lot of... And then obviously it had a very sane scope, you know. That was that was the thing. That was another thing that surprised people about Portal is like, oh yeah, this was only like six hours to play through, and yet I had a good time and felt like I, you know, got my money's worth and whatever your other value uh, determiners were. 
And that was sort of eye-opening for a lot of people. Like, oh yeah, something that is just like a short and sweet, like six or seven hours is like, why don't, why don't we just do that? And at the time, the status quo of AAA was sort of like, well, no, you've got to have a ton of mechanics and you've got to justify your, all that dev time and whatever, you know. I mean, it was, you know, even for Valve, it was a, you know, it was a weird, it's a weird, unexpected success. Or not just, you know, unpredictable success. Yeah, I can already tell that this level is getting bigger and a little more complicated. Oh no. And yeah, I'm really running low on... Oh, I chose a bad spot to chainsaw that caco. All right. Yeah, I think the thinking in AAA goes that if you build a char you know, all these these characters and a world and a, you know, and like some core mechanics, even if the core mechanics are just really straightforward like shooting or something, um, there's a certain length of game you need for all for that to have to to like let your investment in the core of the game like kind of stretch out properly. You know, it's we it's a weird way to think because you know, it's sort of like, well, we need to, like, kind of replicate stuff to an extent so that it can have, like, you know, enough... I don't know. It's weird. It's weird, you know? Because, like, it's not... It, it's kind of alien thinking to me because if you just care about quality and, like, doing right by your ideas, then the game should be whatever length it, you know, it wants to be, and you should be you know, a judicious, disciplined editor and just be like, I don't know, it, this, after, after the nine hour mark, this does, it doesn't feel like we have anywhere to go. So let's just tie it up there, you know? Um, you know, and that was a criticism that people leveled, I think pretty rightly against Bioshock 1, where they were like, yeah, in the third act, the story kind of loses steam and the mechanics kind of like reach, I don't know, I mean, there is some good gameplay and design stuff, but, um, but you know, I mean, it did leave a lot of people with the feeling that it was too long, and I, I couldn't tell you, you know, like that scene in Amadeus, which notes would you, would you have me remove, like, you know, I don't necessarily know what I would cut out of that game, but I, I do definitely agree that, that it probably was too long, you know, um, Right, yeah, like, yeah, Doom 2. Does Doom 2, I mean, Doom 2 definitely has some levels that a lot of people consider filler. Uh, and yeah, like, maybe it would have been, if Doom 2 had just been 20 levels, you know, maybe that might have, uh, maybe it might have been, you know, a much tighter, you know, it might, it might actually work better as a game. I mean, you could sort of do that sort of editing exercise. I mean, basically cull the 10 or so weakest levels and, you know, kind of rearrange it, do like an alternate cut of it. I don't know. It's weird, you know, because usually when people do a recut, they want to like add stuff and sort of like make it, you know, kind of idealize it, make it definitive. But I don't know. All right. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Th wow. Look at this level. This is, uh, this is definitely in that archetype of like modern, you know, sort of sprawling nonlinear design type things. I'm finding it a little hard to navigate here because it repeats, you know, from area to area, it's using a lot of the same textures. And so it's like, okay, this is the room that has a bunch of this dark green texture. You know, like there is definitely some landmarking here, but um, yeah, and where was the blue key door? All right, I think it's close by. Let's see, do I just go up here? Yeah, the last map was uh, was baby demons, baby pinkies. They were super cute. And uh, whoa, oh, no! 
Yeah. Digging this. I don't know what, what music this is, but it's got a good... It's got a good groove to it. Uh, they do not have diapers, no. They weren't, like... They weren't infants in any way. They were just... They were just tiny. They were just shrunk down. Alright. Alright, it's the exit. Is it a trick exit? Hmm. Alright. Green Room. Life of Grime. Oh my. Tons of wimpy enemies all around. Starting to feel the need for a super shotgun. This would be a this this one would be a rough pistol start for sure. All right, big open area with some mud. Oh, geez. Spider is just uh, just giving me a heck of a time down here. Have I heard of Total Chaos by any chance? Uh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a gameplay mod. Has a whole bunch of different weapons. I have, I don't remember anything about it. Um, well, this is bad. No. It is almost a miracle that I survived that. Thank goodness that shotgunner kept pegging that that revenant. All right. Uh, yeah, let's save. Doing okay here. Oh, okay, now I have the red key. Everything is groovy. I mean many things are groovy. A fair few things are not groovy right now, I will I will admit. I really want that super shotgun. Whew. OK. 
Okay. Teleport? No, that's just a little enemy destination teleporter. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is where I started. I just don't want to have to deal with this guy anymore. Oh, no. All my health gone. Not all of it. Alright, yeah, cool. I'm glad that green armor... Glad I saved it. Saved it for later. Alright. Oh yeah, there's the super shotgun. I want it. How do I get it? How do I procure it? But there's something silly that I have to do. Oh yeah, look at that up there too. That's that's also Yeah, there we go. Alright. Probably could have done that a while ago. Cool. Alright, so like, where's a red key door? Oh, I already passed through one. Is this another, so the, the author seems to have a relatively consistent style of like, direction breadcrumbing. To be like, key perched up on a thing work backwards from it to figure out where you need to go to get that thing. And there we go, yeah. A little higher up this time, but uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm definitely coming to appreciate, you know, just this author's style, like, you know, they're using just entirely vanilla textures, which, you know, can be a real challenge. But um, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, and like, if this is called Life of Grime, you know, like this this kind of texture works works well to to establish that, you know, and I'm always a fan of the, of the green vines stuff. All right, and now there's the blue key. Where do I, where's that door at? Yeah, this really seems like a, like it's the secret door that pops open. Maybe I was supposed to use this on the. It's possible I was supposed to use that on the the nukage section. All right, and that is another. No. Oh, okay. Actually, totally missed it. Yeah, it's just right here. That is the exit. Well, cool. Yeah, I'm not really finding any of the secrets here. All right, it's map four. It's eight o'clock. I'm gonna. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's play this map. Now that I've got the super shotgun, that tends to accelerate the pace of a lot of fights. How long could it be, right? Famous last words.
Wow. A lot of enemies coming from multiple directions there. Come on, buddy. Bunch of imps. I feel like this this author does a good job with item placement. Like it's always pretty deliberate and it frequently like tempts the player into into new, you know, into into new and or you know, vulnerable positions. All right, we got that yellow key. So what is What's our next move? Sphere. I'm not super familiar with Cannonball's work, but his maps were definitely high, definite highlights in the Doom 2 and Name Only Megawad, which was also made using stock textures. Yeah! Yeah, that's cool. Alright, so the red door is roughly this way. Pretty lively outdoor area. And there is the exit with a blue key lock. Oh my. This might become an indefensible position soon. Deftly strafed into the into the fireball. Whew. All right. And yeah, I think we've just about cleared out this level.
Well, hello. Any surprises here? I was just expecting a surprise. You know. All right, well, cool, yeah. And yeah, like this level is definitely, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I just have a clear sense of like, yeah, the author's style and stuff. Everything's very like, you know, right angle. There's, there's only very few, very occasional 45 degree angles in the interior areas, but then the outdoor areas are like this kind of, not exactly hex based, but like just sort of, I don't know, just these sort of globby, knobbly sort of shapes. And uh, yeah, yeah, I dig it. Yeah, that these these maps have, have been fun. Yeah, cool. Just looking at the stats here. Interesting reuse of the same style of exit room. Yeah, I agree. Cool. Okay. Well, yeah, that was secluded outpost. And yeah, I don't think we're gonna play map five cistern control today, but um, but yeah, that is what we've got for uh, for today. Yeah, that that was so yeah. Most of what we played today was demonic deviation by Matthew Cannonball Powell from 2018, and then before that we played oh I can Artica, Artica four by uh, Cyberdemon. So yeah, some some good stuff. Yeah, this was all this was all pretty quality dooming today. And yeah, those those tiny pinkies were just a highlight. It was I just brightened my day. So yeah, cool. I hope uh, yeah I hope y'all have a good week and stay safe and stay healthy and all that good stuff. And I will see y'all next time. Yeah, have a good one. Bye bye.